Hi, I'm Peter Garrett, the Australian Government Minister for the Environment, Heritage and the Arts. The Australian Government is committed to protecting the environment and continues to work towards a clean and sustainable future. Since 1997, the National Pollutant Inventory, or NPI, has been tracking pollution across Australia by collecting data and publishing it on emissions from industrial facilities around the country. The release of this information has three important implications for industry and the environment. Firstly, it keeps the community accurately informed about industrial emissions within their area. Secondly, it allows industry and government agencies to make informed decisions about environmental planning and management. Thirdly, it promotes cleaner production and waste minimisation. But the NPI is not just about identifying polluters. The NPI and the data it produces is a valuable tool for everybody who has an interest in learning more about the specific substances that are being released in Australia. How that data is used is up to you. Kids can find out what pollutants are being emitted near their school. Members of the community can find out and search for emissions in their local area. And the industry can use it to track the success of their cleaner production activities and we can make actions on that information. The applications are many and varied. All you have to do is get online www.npi.gov.au what this valuable government funded information and tool can do for you. Thanks very much. The aim of the NPI is to continue to track more than 90 chemical substances that are being released into the environment and show where that release occurs. In June 2007, a number of changes were introduced to the NPI that will help the program fulfil its potential as a major environmental management and cleaner production tool. Further improvements are currently being made to enhance the NPI's role as a valuable source of information for the community and other stakeholders. The major changes to the NPI fall into three categories. Firstly, the transfer of NPI substances in waste to final destination must now be reported. Transfers are different from emissions. Emissions are the discharge of a substance to the environment. A transfer is not a discharge, but a movement of substances from one location to another in a controlled way. Emitted substances end up free in the environment, whereas transferred substances are contained or processed in some way. For example, when extracting gold from ore, a cyanide solution is used to dissolve the metal for further processing. The excess cyanide runoff from this process is captured and stored in a tailings dam. This storage is classified as a transfer. For more examples of waste transfers, go to the NPI website. The second change to the NPI concerns reporting thresholds for mercury, one of the most toxic substances on the NPI list. The reporting threshold for mercury and compounds containing mercury has been lowered from 10 tonnes to 5 kilograms. Thirdly, three new substances have been added to the NPI list bringing the total number of reportable substances to 93. The new substances are acrolein, PM2.5 and PCBs. Acrolein is a flammable liquid used in the manufacture of plastics or colloidal forms of metals. PM2.5 refers to particulate matter with a particle size of 2.5 microns or less. Polychlorinated biphenyls or PCBs, are harmful persistent organic pollutants. Reporting emissions, transfers and fuel usage has now become much easier with online reporting. Emission factors are being updated in the Emission Estimation Technique Manuals and will be available online or on the online reporting system. Automated spreadsheets with calculation tools tailored to your specific needs are also available online intuitive navigation menus, information prompts and inbuilt data checks simplify and speed up the reporting process. To start using online reporting, complete and return the hard copy registration form 
and you will be issued with a username and password by email. Registration forms have already been posted Australia-wide. If you haven't received one, contact your local NPI office. There is an office in every state and territory with dedicated NPI staff there to help you. Further information on the NPI program can be found at www.npi.gov.au